was absolutely dreadful from England. I am very, very, very disappointed in my nation. I thought we were very, very, very poor. We'll get get into it in a minute. But England have lost to the Czech Republic two goals to one. I, was, I, I, I watched Pointless um, maybe like a year ago. And um, they said it was Czechia. So I'm not sure if it's Czechia or Czech Republic. If you are from if you are from from Czech Republic or, Czech, or Czechia, please tell me in the comments wh wh which one is correct and what the difference is. Um, but yeah, I, well, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll get into it now. Uh, I made some some notes, um, so we'll be able to go through it, it um, note by note. Third minute, Harry Kane puts a lovely ball through for Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling. Um, it goes back on himself and is fouled by, I'm going to pronounce probably a lot of these names wrong, uh, Brabeck. Brabeck. Uh, Kane puts it down the middle and scores to make it 1-0. Uh, seventh minute, a, a shot from Kufal is saved by Pickford. The resulting corner, uh, Saluska touch gives it to Brabeck, who uh, brought down Raheem Sterling for the opening goal, uh, scores to make it 1-1 from close range. I thought this goal was very, very sloppy. And then Czech Republic started to have some more possession in the game and they were very, very dominant for around 20 minutes. They were quite dominant in the game and creating lots of chances. Um, 16th minute, there was a corner and Patrick Schick head, headed wide, who is currently playing at RB Leipzig. Uh, Borgil's shot is easily saved by Pickford in the 23rd minute. 30th minute, uh, Czech Republic wins a free kick. Free kick comes in, Schick's header is straight at Pickford. So as I say, they were starting to create more chances. I thought Czech Republic looked very good in this game. I thought they looked a lot better than England, if I'm being honest. After the, um, the half an hour, it started to swing back in England's favour a little bit more. In the 32nd minute, England had a nice build up uh, Sancho passing in to Kane whose shot was blocked by um, the goalkeeper whose name is uh, Vaklik. I thought he played a really good game he made some really good saves England started to have um, some more possession 40th minute this was the last note I took of the first half um, cross comes in from uh, the Czech Republic uh, headed on and shot from Masopus uh, is wide I thought he had quite a good game as well and half time at the break it was 1-1 the Czech Republic with one goal and England obviously with one goal as well move by the Czech Republic in the 51st minute but Suchek's shot is wide um, England had much more possession in, in the second half at the, at the start of the second half for around an hour um, but around the hour mark it was 75-25% for the second half when I checked on um, on my app on my phone so England um as well. A great move by England around the hour mark, put through Raheem Sterling. I thought he should score here, but the goalkeeper makes a really good save, um, gets a massive hand on it and, and does really well. Um, and the 59th minute, Masu puts a great shot from outside the area and Pickford produces a fine save, tipping it over the bar. Corner came to nothing. Around the 70th minute, I, I put that it was more of an even game. Um, there wasn't a lot, bet a lot between us in the second half. Um, England made a couple of changes. Mount came off for Barkley and Rashford came on for Sancho. Uh, Czech Republic had a free kick, but Saluska couldn't get there. Um, Czech, played a Czech Republic played a nice move. Uh, played a great one too. Shot comes in, but saved by Pickford out for a corner. Uh, 80th minute, a great ball through by Barkley and Kane forces a good save from the goalkeeper again. Um, this was a great chance for Kane and then 84th minute, 85th minute the, the goal came for the Czech Republic. Uh, Zucek uh, brings the ball forward and plays out wide to Masopus uh, whose cross finds Andrazak scores and he made it 2-1 and, and to be fair Gareth Southgate reacted a couple of minutes later he brought on Tammy Abraham uh, for Declan Rice for his third appearance in an England shirt. Um, we had four added minutes and Czech Republic created a chance England had a couple of headers in the box and that was about it it was very very poor from England and you know you think about the the second half against Kosovo that was really really poor Kosovo even and and and, and then tonight I think I think it was very very poor we will have a look at the at the, at the statistics for the game um 
55% possession for England, so England edged it overall. 15 goal attempts for the Czech Republic, just 7 for England. Uh, 8 shots on goal for Czech Republic, 4 for England. Uh, 6 shots off goal for Czech Republic, 1 for England. Block shots, 2 for England, 1 for Czech Republic. I thought... I thought they were a better side. I thought England were very, very, very poor um, and didn't create too many chances. And when we did create the chances, the goalkeeper was absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'm really disappointed in us. Uh, us, I really, really am. I thought we would go there. I said in my predictions, I thought we'd win. I thought we'd win comfortably, but that that wasn't the case. Um, that wasn't the case at all. It, it it was rather poor in the end, and I, and I don't know why. We, you know, we looked so good um, during the, um, the the reverse game. We beat them five nil. Um, you know, we, if we have a look at our results um, from the start, five nil, and then five one against Montenegro. Bulgaria beat 4-0. Uh, first half of the Kosovo game, we were 5-1 up. And we went on and, 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 and won 5-3, which is a little bit concerning for me. I think Keane was somebody who was getting a lot of criticism on um, on Twitter. Uh, he had a poor game, but... You know we've we've got we haven't got too many options at the moment to play. I personally, I would play I I, I would play Joe Gomez. I think Joe Gomez is the best we have, um, but he doesn't seem to want to play up. He's not getting a lot of football club football uh, for his um, his team Liverpool. Um, if you have a look at the options we have, we have Michael Keane, Harry Maguire. Joe Gomez, Tyro Mings and Fakayo Tomori. Uh, Mings is obviously playing at Aston Villa and Tomori is um, relatively new. He's not made any appearances for the England national team. Uh, Joe Gomez, I think, is our best option, but he's not getting that first team football at Liverpool and, and that's a, a big a big, a big big issue is if he's not getting the first team football. I don't think Gareth Southgate wants to put him in. I don't think he wants to be that kind of kind of manager. So he left with Harry, Harry Maguire and Michael Keane. Michael Keane's Everton are in the relegation zone. Um, Harry Maguire's Manchester United are all over the place. So you know maybe that's that's an issue, but it's something we need. To, we can't go into the Euros with Michael Keane and Harry Maguire as our centre backs. Obviously, we've got John, John Stones to come back into the frame, so maybe that's who we'll go with. But we all know John Stones is uh, very capable of the odd mistake, which isn't very good. Um, overall, I thought we were. I thought thought we were pretty poor. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I didn't. I was hoping I would come on and, and make a review, and everything would be really good, and we'd win by two or three goals, and 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 that would be really really good. But there was a lot of problems in this performance. We didn't create many chances when we did. The goalkeeper was there, um, but they created uh, more chances than we did. And we only hold on to our lead for five minutes. So maybe if we'd have been one lap going into around the 20th minute, maybe this goal game would have been a different outcome. But unfortunately, we did not do that. Um, so that is my review of the game. I personally don't think we played very well, but... Uh, if we have a look at the standings real quick, England are on 12 points, Czech Republic are on 12 points, Kosovo are on 8 points, Mon Montenegro are on 3 points and Bulgaria are on 3 points. Czech Republic have played a game more than us, so we do have a game in hand. Our next game is against Bulgaria on, uh, I think it's Monday. Czech Republic's next game isn't for another... Uh, month they're playing in November against Kosovo um, so yeah overall I'm not happy with the, with the game but I think we will qualify I think we'll finish top of the group as well so I, I think we'll be fine I think it's just a, just a, a small issue that we will bed out and, and, and solve very very soon but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe as well uh, also put your thoughts in the comments I'd love to hear your thoughts on how that you think the game went and, and, and am I right did England play poorly or were the Czech Republic just very good I think it was a mixture of both I thought the Czech Republic played fine uh, England played very poor but uh, that's just my thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and, of course, subscribe if you're new. My name is Mike and I will see you soon.